Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. My wife and I own Learburg. Today's question is a good question. And it may be a controversial question about veterinarians. These questions come from our customers or the people that visit Learburg.com and they send the question in through the Ask Cindy portal. And Cindy answers these questions every single day, usually around 5 a.m. in the morning after she's gone out and taken care of our horses while I'm still sleeping. <laughs> we may leave that in here. Anyway, anyway, here's the question. I love them though, the horses, love her too. Anyway, hello Cindy. Earlier today, our vet explained that we should have Olga spayed to prevent the likelihood of her contracting uterine or breast cancer. Really, she says? We made a reasoned decision two years ago before Olga's first birthday not to have her spayed. What specifically do you suggest we tell him on this serious matter regarding our Olga, her health, and her longevity. Note, this is the third vet we have gone to with Olga over disagreements with specific conventional veterinary practice. Thank you very much for your continued and valuable help. Good question. So, my position on this is I bred dogs German Shepherd working bloodlines for police service work and the dog sports for 35 years. We had a state-of-the-art breeding facility, have not bred in 11 years, 12 years. Our facility's there, it's empty. But I have a lot of experience with what we're talking about here. And I have to say that I'm disturbed by the current state of the veterinary industry because large corporations are buying up these veterinary practices and it all comes down to money and not the health of your dog. We've had several good veterinary practices in our area of Wisconsin that this has happened to. The vet that we use moved away from one when it was bought by a corporation. I wrote an article on our website titled why some vets don't deserve your respect or your business. And it talks about problems like this. So I'm gonna tell you what Cindy says, because I agree with it. Do some Google searches on health benefits of not spaying and neutering. The fact is, a lot of times when you spay, an older female, it makes them more aggressive. That doesn't happen as much with males, but it does with females. The fact is dogs do best with all their parts and the hormonal system intact. As long as you can prevent accidental breedings, then there is no medical reason to spay that female. I would stand your ground with this vet. Frankly, I would find another vet then you'd be on vet number four. Even if you have to pay for an office visit, go in and interview a vet. Find out what they have to say. Too many vets are more interested in their pocketbook than they are in the health of your dog. It's a sad, sad thing to have to do that. I wanted to be a vet. I went through college. I worked for a vet when I was in college, and I changed my mind because, well, I'll tell you why. Our vet was the dog pound in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Dogs would be turned in, and if they weren't claimed within eight days, we'd have to put them to sleep on Saturdays. I just couldn't take it. I mean, I made up my mind then and there. Uh, I'm gonna go out and learn how to train dogs. I'm not gonna kill dogs. And that's just me. So let me finish what Cindy said. By medical reasons, I mean a real reason not a scare tactic like this vet's trying to do. Many vets use the words cancer to scare clients into spaying and neutering. She's your dog. You should be able to make medical decisions for her 
And if he doesn't respect that, then it's time to look for another vet. Good luck and thanks for not following the masses. If more people would question unconventional practices, then things would have to change. Thanks for watching. If you have a question about dog training, go to the front page of Learberg.com and scroll down to the Ask Cindy. We'll answer your question. I don't know any other dog training website on the internet that does what we do.